Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It is time for the Arrow announcements and it's a bit of a mixed bag. There is some surprises, there is some disappointments I would say uh, and different factors around about this one. So I think there is five releases um, that are coming out in June. We're just going to jump into the computer, have a look at them, give my thoughts if I have any. Oh, there's one title I know nothing about at all. And we'll start off with that, so let's jump in, and it is Irizumi. Now, this is released on the 21st of June. Um, I don't know much about it, other than it's from uh, Yatsua Mazamura, who did Giants and Toys and Blind Beast. Giants and Toys is coming out soon from Arrow. And it is a... Uh, there's the extras on it. We've got the, the, the cover and the replacement cover there. Again, I, I know very little about this one. It's the one that I, I know the the least almost. Um, and I, I don't have much to say. It doesn't really spark any interest. I'll check out a trailer. Um, I know some people were excited about this one, so could be something to look into. Next up, we have the Stylist Limited Edition Blu-ray. This recently debuted on the Arrow streaming channel, so if you want to take the, the free trial on that, you can check it out beforehand. I liked this one. I thought it was a really neat kind of thriller, a throwback to like single white female type of thing where we've got a hairstylist who has some really odd quirks, gets drawn into the life of, of one of her patrons who she's doing the hair for her wedding and starts to get a little bit too friendly and into her life. Wonderful lead performance. Kind of interesting movie. Eighteen pounds. No, no, not for me. Next up, we have Sam Peckinpah's Major Dundee. Now, this is a limited edition Blu-ray, and it's got some good extras. It's got two cuts to the movie. I'm just jumping into that just now. So we've got disc one, which is the extended version, which is a 4K transfer. Disc two is the theatrical version from a 2K transfer. I believe yes, and. The theatrical version is limited, uh, exclusive to this. I was excited by this one. I was going to buy it. I found it to be a great um, release until I saw the price point. The price point for this single movie is £30. That's expensive. That is showing the kind of uh, increase that Arrow are having. Their prices are slowly getting to... Um, I'd say an almost unacceptable level. I, I don't want to really pay that money for that. It's a title I would like. I'm not paying £30 for it. It's just not happening. So it's a real shame because it's a great movie. I'd love to have it in my collection. Um, there's some of the extras that come with it. Poster, booklet, yada yada. All, all good stuff. Um, but that's a lot of money. £30 for a single release even the limited editions of like uh, An American Werewolf in London Nightbreed were all 25 uh, even I'd say those were more prominent movies that were obviously going to be big sellers that was a little disappointing uh, next up we have a, another 4K reissue which is a reissue of The Bird with the Crystal Plumage I was on a live stream earlier talking about this I have uh, the limited edition set that came out a couple of years ago is from a 4K uh, restoration. Do I want to jump into this? And just, just, just the, the cover art, just it just doesn't live up um, to what I, I would hope for. The extras, a lot of them are crossover. There's a couple of new ones. It's £30. The UHDs are kind of going for that for Arrow. But again... It's another reissue. I'm happy to see Argento's movies in 4K. I think I'm going to wait for a standard release of that further down the line, maybe even a sale price, because I've got that limited edition release. I don't need um, that straight away. Now, the most exciting release for me this month is Years of Lead. This is one that was a surprise, a real surprise, and a real exciting surprise, and one that actually feels the value for money. It's £45, it's five movies. Now, 
a little bit more image on the set and we'll go jump into some of the things so Savage 3, like Rabid Dogs, Coat 38, Special Squad, Highway Racer, no, the case is happily resolved. That is the five movies. Um, I love the kind of crime Euro movies, so this was already something that I was really interested in. I'm glad to see that it's a £45 price uh, on this one, it's not too expensive. I was a little disappointed to see, when you look into the details, that it's only three discs. So that means a couple of the discs have two movies on them. I wonder how the compression is going to be um, on that as well. Uh, let's see some of the extras. It's all uh, HD masters. There is a 2K restoration of Colt 38 Special Squad. Um, got some good and interesting extras that I'm genuinely curious about. And surprisingly, with an Argento 4K movie, this is my release that I'm, I'm most interested in. This is the one that makes me genuinely uh, excited, which is something that's been somewhat missing from Arrow recently, you know? The, but this this seems like cultish, different movies that haven't really been tackled. Something that I will pre-order out of all the releases, this is the one I'm going for. I feel a little bit deflated with Arrow's releases, uh, especially with the price of some of them. And... There we have it. I'd love to know your thoughts on these movies. Uh, is there anything that makes you excited? What are you pre-ordering? If anything, let me know in that comment box and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.